This week's Pilch Point with Avram Pilch is proudly powered by PureVPN. The best way to protect your privacy online is with PureVPN. You can hide your online activities, say goodbye to regional restrictions, and improve your streaming quality. Plus, it's available for almost all of your devices. You can get a special price and a 31-day money-back guarantee right now by going to pilchpoint.live slash purevpn. That little woo in the music gets me every time. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, it's that time of year. People are looking for, for gifts and ideas, and uh, you've got some advice for us. Right, Avram? I do. So, um, so I'm going to tell you good and bad, right? So first of all, it was, we, we just went through Cyber Monday and Black Friday and, uh, we wrote uh, my, myself and my colleagues wrote a whole bunch of articles about that, about cool things to buy for yourself. And by all means, by the way, you could buy these things for yourself. Uh, uh, and, and you might want to, because a lot of the things that we saw on sale are either still on sale or will dip in and out of sale uh, over the next couple of weeks uh, leading up to the Christmas holiday. Um, so, uh, and possibly even after the Christmas holiday. So, uh, so what are the things that are good to buy and what are the things that are not good to buy? Uh, so first of all, let's talk about some, some things that are not good to buy. Do not, do not buy anyone including and especially yourself, a non-mechanical keyboard. Now, <laughs> that is a regular keyboard with rubber domes underneath. It's like those poppets that my kids have. I don't know if you've seen those things. They're like little rubber things, and people like to fidget with them, and they pop the little rubber domes in them up and down. That's what you're typing on. Don't do it. Get, get a mechanical keyboard. Uh, with your choice of switches. Now, it will if you don't have one, it will change your life. If you're buying one for a friend or a relative, it will change their life. The real question is, what do they like? Do they like um, clicky keys like I do? Do they like ones that have some tactile feedback but don't make any noise? Uh, those are called tactile keys switches or do they want ones that are that just they have no um bump in them they go straight down and we call those linear switches linear keys um so those are the main uh things to that's that's one of the main things to keep in mind when you're buying someone a keyboard uh or buying yourself a keyboard is which of those uh do you like if you're big into typing and, and for productivity and you don't mind a little tiny bit of noise which i like because it kind of gives me some auditory feedback as well then of course i recommend clicky keyboard um for those who are primarily into gaming the you actually can fire faster with the linear keyboard because you have less resistance um and then you know sort of for folks who like to type but they're i don't know sensitive about making a little tiny bit of noise uh then there's the the tactile switches so how cheaply can you get a mechanical keyboard these days? Very cheaply. Um, now, I'm not saying they're all equally great, but I'm going to show you some things. Um, so let me share my screen up here. Um, so here we have... Um, so, so if I look, go into Amazon, I look for mechanical keyboards, right? And you want to make sure it's a mechanical keyboard, right? Um, you'll see that I can see the ones for as low as $30. Um, now, some of these are brands that I've not necessarily heard a lot about. Uh, you know, Royal Kluge, we, ha we have heard of, seemingly okay. Um, you can get this one that looks like, uh, looks like an old NES. Um, now... Uh, here's one, for example, FLE Sports, a full full size keyboard for sixty dollars. Not bad. Um, now, what I personally like, you know, when I like, uh, I like, I of course love my Akko thirty ninety eight, uh, which is what I'm 
which is what I'm working with, you can get a 3098N or B. Uh, if you get one with a B, then it's actually wireless. Have some beautiful uh, keys, but you might want to change the switches. This is the one that I have right now, a 30. Uh, you might want to change the switches out to get, because they're hot swappable, to get ones that you really like. Now, I, my personal favorite switches are if you get something with kale, kale box white switches, which are really fantastic. Uh, really, really fantastic. You can buy the switches themselves for 30 bucks and flop, swap them in. But if you want a keyboard that already comes with the switches that you want, you know, you look here and see, okay, you know, which keyboards come with it. Uh, for example, this hex gears here comes with it. That's $72. Um, you know, obviously, depending on what you like, you might want a 10 keyless keyboard without the numpad or something that's even less, uh, you know, without function keys. I, I'm partial to having all my keys and more, but some people like the space savings on their desk. So that's one thing that is, uh, you know, something to something to get that I highly recommend. While you're, and that will change your life because listen, you touch your keyboard how many times a day? You know, let's say you type, uh, let's say you're not a great typist and you type 80 words a minute. 80 words a minute, five, let's say five characters per word, that's 400 keystrokes per minute. Now, maybe you're not typing at that speed all the time, but you're and every minute of the day. But let's say 400 keystrokes per minute, and you're and you're typing, you know, how many keystrokes a day? Tens of thousands, and you have a more pleasant experience. You're able to work a little faster, a little with less soreness. I mean, that's that's a game changer, right? Speaking of less soreness, uh, a wrist rest. Uh, we at my job still love the HyperX wrist rest. It just can't, hasn't been beaten. Uh, it, it is just awesome because it has both a gel and, a, you know, a gel feel and cooling. And uh, you can get it in different sizes. Now, I get the full size, which now is actually not on any sale. It's 20 bucks. But if you use a 10 keyless keyboard or you using a really small keyboard, then you could get a smaller one. Um, but I would go with, uh, you know, the big one, if you've got a full size keyboard, uh, like that's another thing under a hundred, under $50, under a hundred dollars, but it's going to change someone's life if they start using it because it is such, such, such an improved life changing improvement. Right. Um, now something else, uh, something else that could change someone's life for someone is, a new SSD. Now, this is something where if you're getting a gift for someone, better make sure you know what type of SSD their system takes. Do they have room for new SSD? If you're buying for yourself, uh, then you should know, do you have an empty slot? Uh, whatever the case, you really shouldn't, you really should get yourself a two terabyte SSD or larger at this point, um, because we can get two terabyte high quality two terabyte SSDs for quite a reasonable price. Uh, price. Uh, obviously not the sale prices that they were last week, probably, but if you look at say the top the top two uh, SSDs in terms of performance are the Samsung, uh, for most people, unless you're getting a PCIe 5 drive, which a lot of motherboards don't support and is very expensive, you want a PCIe 4 SSD like the Samsung 990 Pro uh, which right now for two terabyte is 130 bucks, uh, or the WD Black SNA 50X is the other is another really strong choice. How much is that right now? Uh, that right now is 139. So of those two, obviously you go for the Samsung. But uh, you know, keep your eyes peeled because on the Black Friday time period, it was reversed, and the WD Black was uh, was ten dollars was actually ten dollars cheaper. And their performance was close enough that you really could uh, say, okay, I'll get the WD instead. Um, so that's something that can really uh, change your life. Granted, you're going to be spending, you know, maybe 125 bucks if you want a really high-end one. Um, you can find ones below 100 sometimes on sale that are, uh, 
that are good. The other thing is buying a new laptop. Well, buying a new laptop, you know, that's, uh, you know, obviously you probably not, unless it's a very uh, close family member, you're probably not going to buy like your third cousin removed a, a laptop because that's quite pricey. Uh, but if you will, if you are that type of person, please let me know and I'll join your family. Um, but um, if you buy somebody a laptop, whether it's for yourself or someone else, do not, do not, do not buy a laptop with only eight gigabytes of RAM in it or only a 256 gigabyte SSD. That might sound obvious, but there actually are products in the market that are fairly expensive, including the original, the Apple MacBooks that come with eight and 256 and, and you would be shocked. Um, what I, my top choice right now uh, for a premium laptop buy uh, is the ThinkPad X1 Carbon, uh, which the link I have is for the one that's out of stock, but I'm sure, I'm sure it's not out of stock if you go and find the link, the correct link uh, for it, but uh, you, which you can get for, um, it was $9.99, I haven't checked today. Um, so yes, $9.99, you can get this. This is a Core i5 with 16 gig and 512. Um, the one I would buy, I would prefer to, this is what I would buy for myself, but if I could splurge another 200 bucks, I would buy this config, which has 32 gigs of RAM um, because you really need the RAM in 2023 and consider when you buy someone a laptop, they're probably going to keep it for three, four five years. 16 gigabytes is a bare, bare minimum, right? You really can't get by with, with eight anymore. And Frank, it's going to get to the point soon where 32 is a bare minimum. So, uh, even, you know, if you could go for 32, that's, that's great. Most, Laptops charge you quite a premium for 32 these days. So, you know, just to keep that in mind. Uh, when you're buying a gaming monitor, but let's say you're buying somebody a, a monitor or yourself a monitor. If it is for gaming, do not, I strongly recommend not getting one that's 1080p. There are several 1080p models that are like, you know, can play at 400, 500 hertz. And if you're an esports gamer, then you might make that trade off to have low resolution for high, high refresh rate. Uh, but uh, my favorite monitor deal right now, and I don't haven't checked to see if this is still a deal. Indeed, it is. Is uh, Dell's S322 DGM 3222 DGM. This is a 32 inch model. It's curved. Uh, it has incredible contrast uh, of like 3,700 and something to one. Uh, thanks to its VA panel, it operates at up to 165 hertz, which should be more than adequate. Um, and uh, for pretty much any gaming that you're going to do, uh, and it's obviously quite large. Now, if you are not doing uh, gaming and you're just like me in it for the productivity, then I suggest getting a 4K monitor uh, because that will give you uh you know sharper images and more screen real estate uh, but if you want a 4k gaming monitor you're going to pay a lot for that so that i you know i wouldn't recommend unless you've got lots of money to spend um the other thing you know getting into my uh maker stuff uh get um getting a soldering iron is great but make sure you get the person one with a stand or get them a nice, a really great quality stand uh, in addition to it, because uh, I've bought some cheap soldering iron kits and had them roll, had put put it down and had it roll on the desk and burn me. So you want this little piece here that you solder that, that allows you to stick to, uh, this is actually not a particularly great deal here. This was 40 bucks before, but any, it, you know, any soldering station that has Something where you could put it to rest, I think, put your soldering iron to rest is kind of key. Um, other things that I would uh, that I would recommend that are under a hundred bucks that really change someone's life: uh, a great, great mouse. 
Uh, I absolutely love my Logitech MX Master 3S. Um, if you're into productivity, it has wonderful programmable buttons. It even has a side scrolling wheel and the Logi software allows you to make the programmable buttons do different things in different apps, which is great. Uh, the best deal on this is from B&H, which has it for $95. It's normally 100 elsewhere, uh, which is not that much of a discount, but, um, but really great mouse. Uh, also love how the scroll wheel uh, is magnetic and automatically switches between uh, it's like smooth and ratcheted scrolling. So that's really cool for scrolling down your pages. Um, other things that I really recommend or would make a great gift for someone or for yourself is a seven to 10 port powered USB hub for your desktop. I love the Sabrent one. Um, this is what I use. Um, this was on a sale at one point for about $10 less. Um, still a great, still a great thing. Uh, really great for being able to turn your ports on and off like the switch audio devices, um, which is, is fantastic. Um, other, other things that will really change the game for someone, obviously, if you've got a nice keyboard, uh, for someone, or they already have a nice keyboard, getting them a nice keycaps. Uh, can change things. Uh, these are my keycaps that I absolutely love. I don't know if they're still on a sale. Uh, they still are. Yay, $79. Uh, these are, I love, love, love these, these keycaps, these Dasher keycaps. I put them on my wish list last year. My sister-in-law bought them for me, and I was so excited to put them on. It's one of the biggest, nicest upgrades I've ever gotten. They feel great. They're designed to look like old uh, terminal, terminal uh, caps from a data general keyboard. Uh, if you watch the Apple TV show Severance, these will look very familiar to you because the keyboards that they use have uh, this style of keycaps on them, uh, which is really cool. Uh, so uh, finally, I want to say uh, something else that is really inexpensive, that is a great game changer for yourself or someone else, is a power tower. Uh, that is a vertical power strip particularly one like this one that has um, on off switches for different sections of outlets. So let's say you want to put all of your monitors on one and then you can just turn them off when you're not using your computer and you never have to actually hit the on off switch on the monitors, um, which is what I like on my, on my setup. Uh, but then you could leave another set of, of outlets on for charging things. So anyway, I find um, having control of your power and being able to use it vertically uh, is really, is really, really helpful. Um, so those are just a few things that I, I recommend for folks uh, where they can make a significant upgrade for themselves or others this holiday season. So there's several in that collection that are already in mine. <laughs> uh, I use that, <laughs> that same uh, uh, USB hub. You're absolutely right. Yeah. G great. Um, I I love it. Um, I switch. There are, there are a I few that. I switch between a Bluetooth plug-in uh, headset. Like, there's a Bluetooth adapter. And um, mm -hmm. for listening to music, but the microphone sucks. And my the USB version of this guy. Actually, it, I think it's the same one you have um, <clears throat> that's mm -hmm. that's up in my office. Uh, so that I literally use yeah. the buttons uh, to deal with that uh, every day. <laughs> yeah. It, it's also great for if you're like me and you use microcontroller boards like Arduino or uh, RP2040 boards, they don't have on-off switches. And so if you want to reset them, you have to pull the, the cord in and out. And mm -hmm. so what you can do is you can just toggle, hit the button on and off, and that that resets your, that like turns your your microcontroller board on and off, which is something you have to do a lot if you're if you're programming it. Yeah. And and this is makes it a makes it a snap. The, uh, I mean, there's several different. If you don't have, if you find the Sabrent one to be expensive, there are other models that have on-off switches. But the reason I really like the Sabrent one, and I've tested a whole bunch of them is the build quality is just really superior on it. Yeah. It's got the switches are really nice 
really solid. They click. They, you know, the lights are good. It's like really nicely made. Whereas there's some other ones that have similar functionality, but they just feel very cheap. Um, yeah. And they don't feel like they're going to last. So, Agreed. Um, you know, that's that, uh, that's why I recommend that particular model. But uh, well, bought, we have a list of the best USB hubs. I bought that yeah. model on your recommendation and it was a great yeah. choice. Yeah. Yeah, I have here, they recently sent me this 16 port model. Uh, but to be honest, the 16 port model, the buttons on it aren't as nice. Oh, it's a different belt. It's a different design. And it, it's like, it's like kind of a pla it's more plasticky. It's not as it's actually not as nice of a not as nice of a design on the 16 port as on the 10. Uh, I was hoping that it would be. Yeah, I was hoping because I could even use 16 like I have all 10 of them filled right now. No problem. Yeah. Like, and, and you, and people have asked me how come that is. I don't know. There's just a lot of devices that I might use at one time or another, whether it's an external drive, microcontroller board, my microphone, my mouse, my keyboard, my webcam, my audio devices. It's just, it's very easy to use at 10 ports just like that. Yeah. And I mean, in, in that regard, being able to quickly fill up 10, you and I may not be standard, but we're not too far off. Yeah. It also is good for like, there's things that you made devices you may not use every day, but you don't want to yeah. lose them. So better to keep them plugged in. For example, a micro SD card reader, right? Yeah. I don't need to, I need to use that periodically, but not every single day. But if I just left it in a drawer, then I lose it. So I leave it in, you know, I leave it plugged in. So, you know, there's a few things like that. Well, yeah, sure, I could pull things in and out more often if I needed to, but I'd rather not. So, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and having that totally flexibility on your desk is a real game changer. So, you know, obviously there's things in life that, in your tech life, that seem like really big game changers, like upgrading your CPU, getting a whole new computer, getting a new, getting, you know, a, a new monitor, which is one thing I mentioned there too. But like the things that you see and touch every day on your desk mean a lot, even uh -huh. the wrist rest. Yeah, uh, for sure. I've I've got the wrist rest uh, up in the office. Uh, I have the step down from the mouse. I have the two, not the three, because I had some. Uh, issues with the three. Um, really? I, I don't know. what. Yeah, something about the way my hand sits on it. I actually started to have problems yeah. with my wrist. Um, and I had to go back to a two. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I have a... I have a, um, a... Not a wrap, but like a, a sling. Not a sling. A thing for it, for my, for my wrist. Because uh, I went to the doctor and they're like, I don't know what's causing it, but you definitely need to change whatever it is. But here, put this on. <laughs> and uh, I discovered it. I discovered I, it was the mouse. Interesting. I I am really curious. I one thing I'm really looking f interested to see this coming year is Logitech. Every two years uh, makes an upgrade to this update to this mouse. Mm -hmm. Um. This past year, they made an update to the small version, the MX Anywhere, which is mm -hmm. fine, but I, I prefer the full mouse. Um, the 3S was a was a was not much of an update over the 3. So if someone sees the 3 and it's cheaper, by all means, get that. There's really not much difference. Um, but, the, um, but I wonder if now there's going to be a 4 and they're going to actually like try to do something interesting with it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. I would be, I'm very interested in that because this mouse is, is great, but there's even room there for improvement. Like I would like there to be more buttons, but, uh, uh -huh. but that's just me. Yeah. Uh, you know, they've, they've got a bit of a focus on the Logitech for creators or whatever it's becoming. We talked about it weeks ago. Uh, I'm hoping that that's not going to screw up their focus on other stuff um yeah i i hope not yeah 
as you know, they're what I really blue and Mevo and uh, something else. I think the Logitech for Creators brand was one of the other ones that's going away. Um, all under something. We talked about it, and it's totally gone. Um, but yeah, I, it'll be interesting to see. Um, obviously, I'll I'll give a new one a try. Uh, <laughs> I like the mouse. When it's time for a mouse, I'll give a four a try yeah. for sure. Uh, but you uh, obviously uh, you started to say before you've got uh, summaries. We've on got some stuff, pages right? on this stuff. Yeah, so come to Tom's Hardware. We've got story about stuff not to buy, stuff to buy. We also have a page of best uh, USB hubs, uh, which the favorite is the top choice. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's uh, so come check us out. Well, great. As always, Avram, uh, much appreciated. You obviously put your hands on way more things than I get to. <laughs> and. You can uh, <laughs> give great advice. I have not found any hardware advice you've given to uh, to be a miss. So that's a uh, great, great track record. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Well, as always, I look forward to what we talk about next time. Hello YouTube, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Pilch Point with Avram Pilch. Uh, if you did, please subscribe to our channel, and of course hit the notification bell, since subscriptions don't mean much on YouTube anymore. Uh, and if you've got topics you'd like us to discuss in the future, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Uh, if you don't want to follow us on YouTube, that's okay. There's a lot of other ways that you can follow our content. You can find all of that by going to plughitslive.com slash subscribe. There you'll see all of our shows and all the different ways that you can watch, listen, and follow along.